Hello again, people. Courage the Cowardly Dog is an immortal god. That's the video. What? I'm sorry? No, I'm not crazy. I thought it was obvious. Did you all not know of the awesome and destructive power of Courage the Cowardly Dog? Well, fine then, fine. Okay, let's start off by discouraging any naysayers, okay? Courage the Cowardly Dog is a very deceptive name. Courage is not a coward. He may be cowardly, but the fear he feels is not for himself. The fear is for us. Well, more specifically, Muriel. Courage the Cowardly Dog cannot retaliate against his enemies. If Courage were to retaliate against many of his enemies, they would immediately be destroyed and many innocent people would be caught in the crossfire. He is too powerful for his own good. Still not convinced? Episode 13, Season 4, Remembrance of Courage's Past. One of the final episodes in the series, we see Courage look at a missing person's report on the back of a milk carton. This begins to trigger several memories from Courage's past, which sends him into a trance-like state. A veterinarian sent Courage's mother and father into space? Yeah, right. Think about it, how many veterinarians have rocket ships in their back offices? Yeah, that's what I thought. That wasn't just some crazy veterinarian. This was a non-believer who was following orders of a false god. That's why he sent Courage's parents up into space. Of course, he tries to justify his actions as breeding dogs in space, but I think it's very clear that what he was doing. You don't believe me? If Courage's parents were just normal dogs, then how come they were able to breathe in space, like we clearly see them doing? And you know what? What's the word dog backwards? That's right, God. Eh, well, to be honest, that's probably just a coincidence. I see you still don't believe me. Well, why don't we just bring up the several times Courage withstood severe fatal injuries and just laugh them off like they were nothing. Courage has been launched into a building with a catapult, attacked by a wormhole, choked, electrocuted, survived a car crash, ran over, exploded, and hit over the head with a whole ass sink. Look at this man, he is not mortal, you cannot convince me. Injury is simply a distraction for him. Any of these injuries would have required months if not years of recovery time, but Courage is just fine a couple minutes later. Courage is effectively immune to all damage. Doesn't that sound familiar? Baldur, the Norse god of light and purity, son of Odin and Frigg, was also immune to all forms of attack. His mother, Frigg, made every physical object in the world vow to never harm her child. The reason why he laughs is because he finds the idea of being injured amusing. He is pretending to be injured because he lacks the ability to be injured. Courage wouldn't be the only god in his universe. There are other gods. For example, in Episode 8, Season 1, a goose god attempts to court Muriel and Courage is having none of it. Muriel is a nice and kind old lady who is spoken for and above all else she is happily married. Eustace might not be the perfect husband, but they find a way to make it work. Courage can sense this god's power, and he hates the idea of gods taking mortal women against their will. So, he employs a trick to defeat him. Courage could have easily dispatched this pathetic god with his own power, but Courage is not unkind. So, he simply uses his magical powers to trick the god into falling in love with Eustace's pickup truck. Not only did he mentally dominate this goose god, but he also messed with Eustace as a bonus. On top of that, think of all the crazy things that Courage has done over the course of the show. He had to fight interdimensional women, send zombies back to the afterlife, fight living snowmen, alien birds, evil eggplants, giant robots from space, sasquatches, swamp people, whales, giant kangaroos, and many, many more unfathomable evils, and of course, he turned out just fine. Do we still have non-believers in the comments section? Well, what if I told you that Courage the Cowardly Dog actually has powers? In Episode 2, Season 1, titled The Shadow of Courage, an evil old man dies and his shadow leaves his body. Making his way to nowhere, Courage immediately senses his presence. The Shadow attempts to put on a show for Muriel and Eustace, but just ends up scaring them. Using his divine powers, Courage begins to talk to the Shadow. 
Courage is under the impression that the shadow is holding Muriel against her will. They soon find out that she was just taking a long time in the bathroom. Hey, 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 Mir hey, hey oh, Muriel, you, you didn't wash your hands. You didn't, Muriel, okay. Like I said, Courage is a merciful god, so he decides to help the shadow become a shadow of the stars in the night sky. Think about it, it's not common knowledge that stars have shadows. How would Courage have known this if he wasn't aware of his godlike powers? Episode 1 of Season 2, The Magic Tree of Nowhere, Courage finds three seeds and decides to plant them in the ground. With nothing but the power of his love and the ability to control the weather, yeah, I know that was you, Courage, you're not slick, the seeds grow into a massive sentient tree. This tree holds only a fraction of Courage's true power. It can make random things appear out of nowhere. It conjures a new oven, it creates an excavator, it even cures Muriel after she was feeling sick. However, something goes wrong. The tree predicts that he will be cut down in three days. Courage does everything he can do to stop Eustace, but unfortunately he could not save his creation. In his anguish, Courage ascends to the top of the highest peak and lets out a painful shriek. This shriek is so powerful it makes the moon itself shatter. Courage lacks the full capability to communicate with mortals in their own language without hurting them. He is like the Greybeards from Skyrim, all it takes is a single whisper to completely obliterate someone. Luckily, he can convey information to people in another way, by shape-shifting. Much like Loki, the Norse god of mischief, he can change his form at will. Courage has been known to shapeshift into many different things, like a snake, a dragon, a dinosaur, and he can take the form of people and entities he has only seen for a few seconds. On top of that, no one except for maybe the old Chihuahua can match Courage's skill when it comes to the arcane. Courage knows of a powerful incantation that allows him to banish demons even after they have already found a host vessel. He can change his very biology, allowing him to lay golden eggs, and he has the capability to change reality itself. One time, he changed his very molecular structure and turned himself into paper. There have been many evil foes who have tried to destroy Courage, but none of them succeeded. Even when they all came together and tried to destroy Courage in a 5 on 1 deathmatch. This is quite possibly the only time Courage was forced to use only 1% of his full power. Thankfully for all of humanity, he used the ability he is most skilled with, known as the Sonic Scream. The scream was so potent, the ground began to shake all around them, even though they were nowhere near a major fault line. Just like Goku when he transformed into Super Saiyan 3, the very earth itself shook from courage. <laughs> what is this video? <laughs> the obvious difference is, courage doesn't need to transform to use his full power. Not to mention, Courage has an unyielding will, an ironclad mind, and the ability to resist ancient artifacts that were designed to take the souls of lesser dogs. In Season 3, Episode 3, a storm goddess comes to nowhere and believes that Courage is her lost dog. Huh, I wonder why she would think that. Anyway, Courage goes out of his way to find the lost dog and his search brings him deep underground. There he finds the God Bone, an undeniably delicious artifact. A bone that is said to be so delectable, so unbelievably tasty that dogs have licked it until they died. The Bone of the Gods had claimed the Storm Goddess's dog, and it was trying to claim Courage as well. It was powerful, however, the will and determination of Courage was stronger, only proving more so that he is a God of Gods. All of these incredible feats are child's play by comparison to Courage's raw strength. Deep in the dark endless reaches of space, there lives massive celestial entities. Massive whales who suck in stars like they are black holes, and cosmic squids who are their prey. These space squids have the ability to create stars using their incomprehensible power. One of these cosmic beings becomes injured and lands themselves right in front of Courage's home. You think that was a coincidence? No. This squid more than likely sensed Courage's godlike power, but more so sensed his divine and benevolent aura. The squid makes a miniature neutron star and hands it directly to Courage, 
and he picks it up like it's nothing. He doesn't even struggle. A neutron star is what you get when a supermassive star becomes so large it collapses in on itself. And Courage can just hold one in the palm of his hand like it's nothing. Don't worry, I did the math. Or rather, I asked ChatGPT to do the math, but anyways. That neutron star was roughly the size of a tennis ball. The average volume of a tennis ball is 0.000179 cubic meters. By calculating the approximate density of a neutron star and multiplying it by the volume, we get a mass of 7.16 times 10 to the power of 13 kilograms. We then convert that into 3.6 times 10 to the power of negative 17 solar masses. In English, that equals roughly 158 trillion pounds. Remember, neutron stars are very dense, and I'm almost 100% sure that is a tiny neutron star. That is 150 trillion with a capital T. That would be an approximate equal weight to about 395 million blue whales, or 13 billion African elephants. Yes, I also got those compared measurements from ChatGPT, but that's not the point. immune to all forms of damage to the point where he simply pretends to get hurt. Unfathomable strength, able to hold some of the most densest materials in the known universe without breaking a sweat, fighting more types of villains than a superhero from the Justice League, and assisting in the birth of cosmic entities like it's just an ordinary Tuesday. Courage the Cowardly Dog is an all-powerful god with the power to destroy our world should he ever want to. Not Courage the Cowardly Dog, but Courage the Immortal God. He will forgive you, for he is a forgiving God, he is merciful, and he is pure of heart. Courage helps people, no matter how big or small. Whether it's a tiny shadow who wants to be famous, or a cosmic squid, he helps them because he wants to protect this world and the people who live within it. He does not judge people because they are angry or ugly. He doesn't try to hurt people unless they have actively tried to hurt him or his family. If Muriel Bag didn't find the young deity in the storm drain, then things would have been very different. Because of one random act of kindness, he found a loving family that cared for him. They fed him, gave him a place to stay, and Muriel loved him. Because of this, he learned to use his powers for good, and so he has. He saved the lives of unborn star makers. He reunited a bunny after dealing with the bunny's abusive ex-boyfriend. He gave a mad scientist a reason to live again. And best of all, he entertained me for the majority of my childhood. Courage the Cowardly Dog is my favorite animated TV show ever made. And I think the biggest takeaway from it is that life may be scary. But nothing is more scary than living in a world without kindness. That's why courage is so nice to people. That's why someone like him should be worshipped. If you would like to be saved by Courage, the all-powerful God, then pledge yourself to him, follow his teachings, and be kind to each other, and be courageous. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.